Hey guys, Zane here, aka Supernova Boy, and I'm here doing another episode of Ask Zaners, episode 41. I'm on top of that number game. 41. Let's get it, let's do it. Was there any drama backstage at the runway show? Tell us the juicy details. Um, it wasn't really like backstage at the runway. I mean, there, I'm sure there was drama because there's always some sort of model, makeup, stylist, some sort of drama somewhere, usually. But I wasn't backstage for that, so I wasn't really, I can't really tell you from that point. But there was some drama, you know, out at the actual event. There was like so many vendors and so many designers there selling their, their clothes, and it was also the fashion show, so it was like a big event. But there was drama going on in the event drama between photographers drama between models drama between models and photographers drama 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 I try not to get into it but sometimes drama happens between people that I kick it with and I gotta play Sweden sometimes I gotta I gotta I gotta play Sweden or Switzerland I take no sides I am my own white entity so that was the drama at the Drift Fashion Show who Skylar Mimuro? She's hot. That's my boo, Sky Sky. Um, she's just an upcoming model on Instagram, like in the uh, like street fashion scene. She like does a lot of modeling for like a lot of street street designers. Uh, she has her own fashion blog. She also pole dances. She like takes pole dancing classes, and she's like amazing. She's also an actress, and she's been on stuff when she was younger. I forget what TV show she was she was in. But she was, she's done stuff, so she's also an actress. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. She's so sweet. She's so genuine. She gave me my everybody hates me top. Loving. I love Skylar, AKA at sky underscore sky underscore on Instagram. Check her out. Follow, support, she great. How do you stay awake without using energy drinks? Um. I don't really drink that many usually energy drinks usually, but if I do, it's like Red Bull or Monster. I don't really fuck with Rockstar. Rockstar's kind of gross to me. Sidebar, all those do Red Bull flavors. I'm living. But how do you not drink them and stay awake and have energy? Um, honestly, I'm just an insomniac, so I'm just always up. And I'm a pretty energetic person, so I'm always kind of like doing my thing. But, you know, have some sugar. You know, drink some coffee. Uh, if you don't like coffee, or if you don't want to do coffee, tea! You can drink tea. Tea gives you energy. You can, get, you can get a natural energy from some teas. So I drink a lot of tea, actually. I'm a big tea drinker. Um, I just like to keep myself clean. Coffee makes me feel cracked out sometimes. I just like a natural energy. So a lot of green teas, uh, tea fusion type things, but definitely tea. You know, add an extra, add, add an extra spoon of sugar, you know, if you want, if you want a, some extra, like, energetic buzz, but I definitely suggest tea. I'm a big tea supporter. Do you get fan art? If so, can you post your favorite fan art in your next Ask Zaners, please? Um, I have probably, I've gotten like, I think like two fan arts in, in like my entire time as Hey Zaners, and it sucks because I have them in my phone, my other phone, but then like, I fucked it up and I had to get a replacement, and then like, it like, my phone, what, what was backed up wasn't everything, so I did, so I like fucking, I have so many pictures that I don't have anymore, so many videos I don't have anymore, so many moments I cannot get back, and I got, I was sent two fan arts, and I don't have them, and I wish I could show them, but if you guys do have fan art, please send it to me, I don't know, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, DM me, tag me. If you're private and you tag me in a post, I will not see it. So keep that in mind. Um, remember to tag me up at Supernova Boy, or you can hashtag it Hey at Zaners, hashtag at Supernova Boy, um, and I will find it. And if you know, and I'll post it if I really like it because you know you went out of your way to like do that, and I would love to see it. I love art. I am an art enthusiast and a tea drinker. So make that art. Draw me like one of your French girls. Why don't you put the intro in your Bathroom Diaries videos again? How you doing YouTube? We're drugged. It was so funny. First of all, it was not drugged. 
I would never say, hey YouTube, we're drugged. I'm not prom promoting that type of drug out lifestyle. It was, hey YouTube, we're drunk. Just correcting. Didn't mean to get sassy, but just correcting, it was, hey, YouTube, we're drunk, and uh, a lot of my subscribers are underage, and there was a lot of Bathroom Diaries influence in a lot of younger kids, because from Bathroom Diaries and Life of Zaners, we have people coming to our jobs, looking for us, being like, hey, is so-and-so here from the YouTube Bathroom Diaries videos. And like, that's happened to multiple ones of us and other people have been recognized. So like, I started to realize like, people really watch these things. And I was like, okay, I don't really need to, to promote an always drinking lifestyle. <laughs> Even though I'm always drinking. But, I mean, I've seen enough shit. I deserve to have a drink every once in a while since I am legal. You know, I'm 22, I don't feel like dealing with it, I'm not dealing with it, I'm gonna have a drink. But if you're underage, please, drink very responsibly. I'm not gonna tell you not to drink, because I think you should experiment in your life. Don't fucking live a boring ass life, experiment, do your thing. But do it right, do it responsibly, and do it with people that you feel safe around, okay? What's one thing you have tried to change but couldn't? That is a good question. I had to think about it, but I kept coming back to it. I... I just have always been a a good writer. I'm a good writer. That's what I've been told like my entire life. Every time I like, you know, did writing assignments and like wrote stories or like papers, everyone said you're a very good writer. You should, you know, write a book, you should be an author. And I would really love to write a book. I've been wanting to write a book. I've written multiple like first drafts of books, but my main problem, and it's also because I'm an Aries, is because I can't fucking finish anything. Especially when it comes to my writing. It's like so apparent in my writing. I'll be so into it, be doing my thing, be doing my thing, getting the pages, getting the pages, and then something will just stop me. I'll get blocked or something, or I just completely lose the desire to continue. And it's like I have so many, so many drafts of so many stories I've written over the years through like, um, through even like middle school, through middle school and high school and some of college, I've just like written multiple like stories that have just stopped. A lot of Aries can't finish what they start, which is so true. <laughs> FYI, half the other segments on this channel. Hi Zane, do you like watching or playing any sports? I don't watch sports, I'll watch the Super Bowl for the commercials. I used to run track, I was a big track runner throughout middle school and uh, the uh, freshman year of high school. Big track runner, loved track, I loved running, just the smoking got to me, you know, that shit fucked me up, I could not, that shit fucked me up. So I stopped track and continued smoking, which in hindsight, that was a logical thing to do. But now I am smoke free and I run after the bus sometimes. Who are your top five clothing designers? This question was asked four months ago and I have yet to answer it because I have, it's so hard for me to come up with a list because it's always changing. But I think I have a good set down in no particular order whatsoever. Wea, W-I-A, I love Wea. All of, I just love all of their collections, all of their designs. It's, oh, so good. I'm gonna say Unif. I still, I love Unif. I'm always gonna love Unif. They're so... They are some of the most offensive clothing makers. But then at the same time, they'll don't, they'll drop thousands of dollars to charity. At the same goddamn time. They're so good. And they, they fucking love their customers. They're so good to their customers at their sample sales. They'll give you $100 off, $50 off. Exclusive this, exclusive that to the first 50 or 100 people in line. They're so fucking good. So definitely Unif. KTZ. I love KTZ. I don't got money for KTZ, but I fucking love KTZ. So it, they they're they're pretty big in K-pop, but they've been in a lot of K-pop videos. But oh, KTZ is so good. Uh, all their stuff. I love KTZ. I like a lot of like streetwear and like independent designers, not like huge, huge like McQueen. Wang, Versace, not like, I mean, I appreciate that, but where I'm at right now in life, I'm just so big on independency and the independent designers and people who just do all their shit themselves. So my last two favorites would have to be Damien Renucci, um, and also, I gotta give it out to him, 
he is so good. He gave me some of my first styling projects. I am a stylist on his team. He's in Australia right now. He's an Australian He's an Australian based designer, but you can look up Damien Renucci, Damien D E M I A N, Renucci R E N U C C I. He's coming out with his second collection. Oh my god, it looks amazing. I cannot wait till that drops. I love him. He's just such a sweet, genuine guy. He works so hard. And oh, I love it. I love it. So check that out. Fifth, I'm going to have to give it to Nikki Lipstick. I love Nikki Lipstick. She. She's come so far. She's come so far. She really has with her with as being a designer. She launched independently, you know, just doing, you know, graphic tees. And then she moved into pasties. She then started collaborating with other people, getting special sunglasses, special earrings, brooches, jewelry, harnesses, like Clothe, clothing. She had a collaboration with YRU and had some sick platforms. Like, I gotta give us a Nikki lipstick. She was worked fucking hard. She's a great independent designer. She's so sweet. She's gorgeous. She's all about girl power and being a feminist. She's all about loving your body and being true to yourself. And she's so good. Oh, Nikki lipstick. N I K K I lipstick. You gotta look her up. I love, love, love her. She's so good. So, those are my top five. Designers, that's all the questions I'm answering today in this episode of Ask Saners. Keep them coming. Please, 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 please give me some more questions. I'm running very low. Give me all those non kpop related questions. I love them. Keep it interesting. Keep it sexual. Keep it thought-provoking. And keep it weird. You know, give it, give it to me. Give it to me good. So until next time, I'm Zane, a.k.a. Supernova Boy. Don't forget to subscribe and subscribe for more questions and answers. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to What Am I Wearing? Country Club Edition.